Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts and recap to the New York Knicks' dominant victory over the Detroit Pistons tonight. The Knicks get back to 500. It was one of those pesky wins. We're going up against the Detroit Pistons that are young and they're feisty. The Knicks were pretty much winning the entire time, and the Pistons fought back in the fourth quarter, but Jalen Brunson and R.J. Barrett sealed the deal, and Julius Randle hit a clutch shot late in that fourth quarter to secure the W. So in this video I want to give you guys my thoughts of what we saw from this Knicks team because we all know that we're coming off one of the worst losses if not the worst loss of the season on Wednesday night against the Brooklyn Nets we got absolutely blown out nobody played well offensively the team looked terrible defensively well you got to take care of business when the Detroit Pistons are coming to town, especially when Cade Cunningham is injured and you're playing a team that is simply under um, have not won once on the road this year. So it feels like this Knicks team so far this season, they're beating on the bad teams and they're losing to the good teams. The good news is they took care of business because we'd have a completely different conversation right now if the Knicks are losing to these bad teams like the Detroit Pistons. So this is definitely a positive night and hopefully this is a game where the Knicks can get gain their uh, their positives and just get, get their rhythm as a squad and gain their confidence as a, as a team because we saw R.J. Barrett drop 30 plus tonight. We saw Jalen Brunson have seven assists to no turnovers. And all three of the trio of the left, I don't know what the nickname is yet, the lefty trio of Barrett, Brunson, and Brandle all had 20-plus apiece. Now, this is a great team win for the Knicks. They played well from the first quarter to the fourth quarter, and I'm excited to break it all down. So before we hop into it, I just want to mention, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, please do me a gigantic favor. It would really help out the channel if you just simply hit that like button. Really, it goes a long way. And of course, please feel free to comment down below your biggest takeaways and your biggest thoughts of the New York Knicks game tonight at Madison Square Garden. So let's get right into my thoughts. Um, let's talk about let's talk about RJ Barrett real quick because RJ Barrett's had a very interesting season. He started off slow, but the last six or seven games, RJ Barrett is averaging well over 20 points per game, shooting like 44% from three-point land, shooting 50% from the field, and his efficiency and his scoring and his numbers are off the charts. Now he didn't have a good game Wednesday night against the Brooklyn Nets, and nobody had a good game in that one, but the fact is I knew right from the start when I saw R.J. Barrett struggling and I saw Knicks fans questioning R.J. Barrett, I'm like, listen, it's unfortunate that he still can't get off to good starts, but I know R.J. Barrett well, way too well enough to be concerned that he's not going to get his rhythm. And tonight we saw an efficient R.J. Barrett, 10 of 17 from the field, well over 50%, hitting all of his free throws, um, hitting his shots from downtown, playing with efficiency, playing with strength, his footwork. He just felt like he had that you know, confidence to him. Whenever the ball was in his hands, he felt like there was a mismatch defensively you know, backing people down, down low, just overpowering people in the paint, putting up the floaters, hitting his layups, hitting his jump shots, facilitating the rock. Everything we saw from R.J. Barrett tonight is great. 35-5, and 10-17. I know it's against the Detroit Pistons. I know they're not a juggernaut team at all, but it definitely is a great sign that R.J. Barrett is finding his groove and finding his rhythm, and this is not the only game where he's been playing well. Look at his last six game statistics, and it backs up what I've been telling you guys about R.J. Barrett. He is playing winning basketball, and it's all about him continuing to make those strides and continuing to make um, those positive uh, stepping stones to be an efficient scorer because that's the next step of R.J. Barrett's game. Last year, he did average 20 points per game, which was a great milestone for him, but he struggled with the efficiency and he struggled with the efficiency early on in this season, but all of a sudden, he is shooting the ball very well. He has to hit the layups, which he did tonight. Very good sign from R.J. Barrett. Now, talking about Jalen Brunson, I mean, he's a big reason why we won this game. He is probably one of the best players on the squad. I mean, we finally have a damn point guard. Are you kidding me? Look at these stats. When is it the last time the Knicks had a point guard that can do this type of things, do these type of things consistently? 26 points, 7 assists, and no turnovers, shooting 50% from the field of 8 of 16, hitting all of his free throws, 4 steals. I mean, what more do you want from a Knicks point guard, guys? It's pretty crazy. And when the Pistons were tr uh, starting to make a little run in the fourth quarter, I had so much confidence the Knicks were going to win because of Jalen Brunson. It felt like every time the Pistons would get a little, you know, three-pointer from Bogdanovich or Burks would make a play, I just had so much confidence in Brunson to calm things down, get a bucket in the paint, his little teardrop floaters, his little fadeaways. Uh, he's just really efficient, man. And I just have never felt this con confident in a New York Knicks point guard in my life. I mean, to the point where the, when the ball's in his hand, I know he's going to make the right decisions, whether it's him facilitating to a, a guy cutting to the basket or kicking it um, out to a shooter. Whenever he's tacking the paint, 
Uh, if there if there's an opportunity for him to shoot the ball, he will. But if there's not there, he dishes it off. And he's just playing excellent at the point guard position. It hasn't been all perfect for uh, Brunson this season. Obviously, against the Nets, I keep alluding to that game because nobody played well in that game. But Brunson was that leader. That um, And that's another thing about Jalen Brunson, guys, that I'm really impressed with. He's taking on that leadership role. After that Brooklyn Nets game, bro, you heard him in the press conference holding his entire team accountable, holding himself accountable, saying that that was unacceptable. The Brooklyn Nets outplayed us. Uh, all over the floor. I mean, they play with more energy. They play with more tenacity. And Jalen Brunson made sure that he's the leader and telling this team that that's not acceptable. We cannot play basketball that way. And I feel like not only is he a great player on the floor, but off the floor in the locker room, he's really instilling a culture in the squad. And I cannot say enough great things about Jalen Brunson's ability to be a winner, man. That, that's really the best way I can explain Jalen Brunson is a simple winner. You know, facilitating the rock, being unselfish, and being able to be a bucket getter. I mean, his ball handling is very unique. Being able to just take people off the dribble and he's a willing guy to also sacrifice his body for those offensive fouls. I mean, he's gritty and he's everything I've ever wanted in a Knicks point guard. I know there's a lot of better point guards around the league than Jalen Brunson, but he just fits the mold of this Knicks squad so well and I'm just very impressed with his ability so far with the Knicks. And the Julius Randle also had over 20 points, 21 points to be exact, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 8 of 18 from the field, didn't have his best numbers, but best game when you're watching it with your eyes, but then you look at the box score, it's like, alright Randall, 21, 8, and 5 on a game where you didn't really feel like Randall did that much, that tells you like what Randall gives you, and I feel like this trio that we have of Barrett, Brunson, and Randall, I don't know off the top of my head the exact times that all three of them has, has had 20 plus points, but it seems like a lot, I mean we really do have a trio on this team that are all lefties ironically, that are bucket getters. They can all get buckets. They can all play offense. But the, we all know what the key to this Knicks team is, which I made a, my last video about, is the defense. And the defense wasn't really the best tonight. I think the offense was the biggest reason why we won. I mean, Bogdanovich got his 25 points. And we let Alec Burks make his debut for the Pistons. And, of course, Alec Burks is going to do well against the Knicks at the Garden, right? I mean, of course he is. But, you know, the defense wasn't, uh, like, atrocious tonight. But I definitely feel like this Knicks team is missing Mitchell Robinson, bro. Because there was no really uh, defensive presence in, in the paint. Isaiah Hardenstein, as much as I love him, he's just not anything close to Mitchell Robinson when it comes to defense. He's a liability on that side of the floor, in my opinion. He's not bad. I don't want to say he's a liability. But just comparing him to Mitchell Robinson, it's just night and day. And we need to get Mitch back for sure. And outside of those three players of Barrett, Brunson, and Randall, there's not nobody had double digits. You know, Obi had eight off the bench, quickly had eight off the bench, Rose had eight off the bench, uh, Cam Reddish had four, Hardenstein had six. Uh, Grimes had fives. Good to see Quentin Grimes getting back, man. He had seven minutes. Uh, Tom Thibodeau gave him some minutes at the end of the second quarter. They're trying to, like, ease his way into it. And it's pretty crazy, man. Tom Thibodeau is running an 11-man rotation. I mean, he never does that. Pretty crazy stuff. I think the reason is because Quentin Grimes, he's been in and out of the lineup because of a sore foot. So they want to get him some rhythm and they give him seven minutes of action and he puts up five points, hit a, a really good uh, three-pointer. And uh, I hope hope Grimes can really get back out there because he's a big piece to this Knicks team. So let me know your guys' thoughts of this game down below. Obviously, it's not a win that Knicks fans are going to be you know, celebrating because it is the Pistons. But at the end of the day, it's a good sign that the Knicks continue to win the games we're supposed to win and defending our home court and dominating teams like the Detroit Pistons. And I don't want to say this was a dominating win because the Pistons did make a, a fight in that fourth quarter, but R.J. Barrett drops 30 points on an efficient night. Jalen Brunson continues to be the point guard that we've been waiting for forever. And this Knicks team seems like they're a squad that most importantly can handle adversity and bounce back after a terrible loss against the uh, Brooklyn Nets on Wednesday. And let's see what they can do on Sunday at noon against the Oklahoma City Thunder. So again, guys, comment down below your thoughts of the game. Like the video if you guys enjoy. Comment down below a Statue of Liberty emoji if you stayed all the way into the end of the video. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Let's go Knicks. Peace out, everybody.